wanted to get to know each of you, but in the interim, I want to help you to quickly get to know me and my passion for empowering and connecting women and girls. So the focus is education, and I teach at Stadium High School and own a business called Ladies First. So a lot of my educating is with um, elementary, middle, and high school girls, but do a lot of community work with women as well. Um, so as I've been introduced, my name is Tawana Franklin. Um, I'll tell you some quick things about me that people always wonder. So I am 33. <laughs> <laughs> a wife of 13 years, a mother of four, um, a small business owner, and um, an educator and a candidate, as um, Julie mentioned to you, for University Place School Board. And so um, I was not always all of these things, so I was always Tawana Franklin, as my mother named me. But as a child, our family was pretty poor. And um, we lived in shelters, so we lived with family members. And until I was um, 14 years old, our life experiences um, just were really hard, really tough. And at 14, my siblings and I were placed in um, foster care and removed from the care of our abusive mother. Um, we were placed in separate but mm -hmm. safer homes. Mm -hmm. And um, we lived with complete strangers, better known as our foster families. And as a child who faced many hardships, I learned several lessons that have impacted my work with women and girls. And so I'm going to share with you three of those lessons. So the first one is family rocks. Family just rocks. So being part of a family unit and having a sense of um, who we are and where we belong really matters. Um, this is why mentors and role models <coughs> matter to me. We sometimes have positive role models in our family, but oftentimes we don't. Just 20 CEOs of Fortune 500 companies are run by women. And ladies, we just can't be what we can't see. We are a family of women, and so part of those marching orders or a charge that I have for you is to grab another woman by the hand, mm -hmm. younger or older, and I want you to lead and learn with her. Okay? Find a mentor. Become a mentee. Mm. And ladies, if you're having trouble establishing a relationship with a female mentor, don't shy away from a male mentor. Because um, at the end of the day, what I want for all of us is to create a family of support, and I want us to help each other define who we are and where we belong. So family rocks. The second thing that I've learned is that strangers can change lives. People may come in and out of your life, and as a former foster youth, I have had my fair share of goodbyes. But even those who, do, who we don't know well, and those who may not stay in our lives forever, bring experiences and knowledge that we can enjoy even for a short period of time. So you may be a stranger to the woman sitting next to you, but what I want is for you to see yourself as her greatest, most powerful resource. Mm. See yourself as the expert of what you do, and understand that you yourself have experience and you have knowledge that is valuable to her. Your experience and knowledge is also mm -hmm. valuable to me. You are enough, so we are our best resources. And women need resources, women need investment. We need access to high paying jobs, we need technical jobs, we need leadership positions. And it's not good enough to say, well I don't know her well, we don't have the best relationship, I'm not connected to her. Again, my charge for you is to get connected Mm. Millennial women want to learn new skills. We want opportunities to impact our community. And it could be your investment. That's the life change that we need. It could be your investment that's key to helping us overcome the challenges that we face every day as women. Mm. So, bring on your strange. I invite you to become my new stranger best friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have family rocks. Strangers can change lives. And then... Third, safe space matters. Safe space matters. So I heard a woman in a TED Talk say, women need spaces to dream, spaces to unlock intelligence, spaces to unlock passion, and spaces to unlock focus. And that was really powerful to me. I really appreciated those words. Um, member surveys 
state that one of our greatest characteristics in Ladies First is providing a safe space for girls to talk, for girls to connect. So a safe space is very important, even in my programming. And the work we do, while it is social justice, our lens for social justice is more than a funding opportunity. We see beyond the statistical girl. We see a complex girl. We see flesh. We see, we see flesh and blood. We see beyond the mathematical girl to the real lives and real communities of women and girls that we want to impact. And so I challenge you all to also seek. In fact, I want you to seek and understand mm -hmm. what young girls, what young women are looking for. I challenge you to create spaces for women to thrive and not because you want to um, see women as instruments for development, but because women and girls really do matter. Mm. I challenge you to create spaces for women to enjoy lunch, just as we did, um, and to learn from and empower each other. Mm. And not because of what investing in women can do for our economy. These are the things that I read in articles all the time, like, you know, fund this program for girls. It's the key to a, a successful economy. No. Do it because women and girls really do matter. Mm -hmm. It matters. The programs that you are providing for our community, the connections that you are making intergenerationally, right? It's because we matter. We need these things. So continue to create these safe spaces. So I have a little homework for you, right? As Julie said, what, what is mm -hmm. girls need to know? What is it that we, we need? And so just reiterating my three, my three points, I want you to create and nurture our family of women. I want you to embrace encounters with strangers. It's okay. <laughs> We're adults now. We can talk to strangers. <laughs> I want you to create spaces to unlock leaders. Mm. We're in there. You have the key. Continue to create these spaces to just unlock leaders. So let's step up. And let's continue to push our agenda forward, and we can see lots of change happening. Thank you. Thank you.